Well, I just love country music from the very beginning. I always was a country music fan, and I, I you know, I didn't. Hank obviously preceded me, but, but you know, I, whether it was George Jones or Merle Haggard or Conway Twitty or going all the way up into you know to today and Keith Urban, you know, I always loved it. So, but. I kind of had heard the story, read about the story when I was very young, and I was fascinated. You know, when you get in your 20s, from the time I was in my 20s, when you get in your 20s and then you think about what this guy did in his 20s, and you think about his life, you just say, what an extraordinary, I mean, sad, profoundly sad, but an amazing story. And so that's, I just was caught up in the story. That's why the songs are so funny. Because what are his songs? They're stories. They're great stories. And, you know, so I, I, that's what did it for me. I, it, I, I mean, I, you, you couldn't make it up. And very few times have ever been, you know, he was the first rock star, you know. Who was a bigger rock star than Hank Williams? I'll tell you, and I'll be really honest, I am not shy about speaking in front of people. I'm not shy about a lot of things. I realized about two hours ago how nervous I was. I have, I, and I don't get nervous that much. I mean, everybody gets nervous. A little nerves are good. But I mean, I, somebody said, do you want to eat? And I was like, I don't think I could eat a thing. I all of a sudden realizing I was in Nashville, Tennessee, in front of all these people who actually know a lot, not people who are sitting up in Toronto or places who don't know, you know, they know, but they don't know. I was like, wow. But I, to me, I'm excited. It's kind of an honor. I mean, I'm emotional about it, more emotional than I think I probably will be at any other time about it, coming to Nashville. And, I, and growing up near Nashville, it's, it's you know, it's, it's, it's a very... Um, poignant experience for me. Well, you know, we talk so much. I mean, such a collaboration. Movies are really a collaborative process. Everybody says it, but they are. It's not, you know, it's not a, it's not a director. I wrote it, I direct, but, but it, it, it's in the way I like to work is I like to communicate all the time. So it's sort of like me asking somebody like, what's it like to see your kids get so big? And you go, well, I never noticed it because they just, I see them every day. So the process, but there were moments in the shooting of it, not so much in the process, but in the shooting when I could get a little distance and I was framing it in my head is what we were doing. When I would watch him and I would go, holy crap, he's a, that's unbelievable. Like I was so personally wrapped up in it that I was kind of blown away by his. And that was when, it, you know, it really hit me what he'd done, you know. Along the way, I was a little bit like, yeah, yeah, he's getting it, he's getting it. He, but then when he brought it, I was like really excited about it. They are um, both incredibly talented, and they're both very, very um, generous actors. And they really put themselves in a position to, to uh, communicate. And fortunately, actually they had auditioned for another movie, or like four years ago and when I brought up Tom was involved and when I brought up Elizabeth's name for the very first time he t I said what do you think about Elizabeth Olsen he said great great idea great we almost did this movie together she's fantastic it was like playing tennis together I, great and then when I saw them together I I just you know what I thought I'm lucky I just thought, man, I'm just lucky. I got lucky. These two are great together. And you can't make that happen. Good actors can create a lot of things, but the kind of chemistry they created in this movie was just good fortune. Well, they'll learn a lot about his personal life. That's what the movie really, really delves into. It's not a movie about to tries to pretend to tell you why he was great. I really stayed away from that, and and I because I, I, I don't know how to do that. I think what they'll take away is wow, the, the, his body of work will suddenly become more concise to them, and I think they'll be provoked, and I think they'll be emotionally wrecked. That's what I'm hoping for. I hope they get really, kind of really emotional, because I, I make movies to absolutely make people have an emotional experience. I want people to be emotionally involved in me. That's what I think they go to movies for. Either go into a horror movie to be scared, go to this to be you know, laugh to some certain movies and some movies go just to be touched and I that's what I'm I'm hoping they'll come out here touched. I hope I see some people doing this. That's what I hope.